Certainly, you will get some angular momentum. Yes. But you know, the, once you get into that state, then when you fall, if the angular momentum is conserved, yeah. omega goes as you know the the yeah. distance square, right? Yeah. You know, like both in the which was you know five fairly wide. But on the other hand, then we would have other formation scenarios without going to the which I think is impossible for us to, to find systems where we show that the, the, the accretion velocity was important. The thing is that the, the neutral star white wolf systems, which we believe could have gone through common envelope phase, if the final auction period is about three days, it might have well evolved through this isotropic remix model that they think it applied to sigma sex 2 and, and we looked at for, for the second process we saw by both companions. So it's very difficult to tell from the observed parameters what was the difficult answer. Uh, 
Bulletin minus five is a good estimate. So, so if if we take one percent of body power accretion rate, if we take what's what will be the body power accretion rate for the neutron star in the region? Then? It's probably on the high side since the minus five solar mass is what you're just doing. Limited, right? Hmm? Limited, right? Well, that's the question. You know about this. The magnetic field of the new star. Well, if it's limited to anything, then it's 10 to minus 4, and you have to spend 1,000 years. Exactly. So it's only in the case that you, you go much sort of heavy to limit, but how good it is for the description of this thing, heavy to limit anyway? Well, then it seems that. Initial assumptions about the little body that you have, the little orbit you have, which is 